Excellent. I'm married. 90. 108. You've got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. For most of our students, ICT and multimedia are absolutely compelling. Producing a short film or a piece of multimedia around a topic can be absorbing and a creative way to assess learning. At the CTC Kingshurst Academy in Birmingham, science teacher Margaret Allport encourages her students to make short films with Windows Movie Maker, which not only motivates them, but also really helps her to review a topic that she's been teaching. Today I want you to produce or create a video to demonstrate what you've learnt during this topic of classification. Now I'd initially do a recap of everything that has been taught throughout the topic. So for example if it was classification I'd break it down into perhaps areas that we'd covered through each week. They then would be given their assessment criteria so normally about four criteria that I would like students to include in their video. They are compulsory, however it doesn't mean that students just have to include those and often encourage them including any of their own you know, extra knowledge and other details that we've discussed throughout the topic. So the idea of getting students to use the videos, creating the videos in science is a way of assessment. I prefer to use it on occasions for well, the end of a topic so that I can assess what students have learnt, what they know and perhaps look at any misconceptions or ideas that they perhaps haven't fully understood and obviously it's keeping me up to date with the levels and where they're at in terms of their key stage three targets. I know that the students enjoy it so obviously I want students to enjoy science and think of not necessarily all this is a big assessment and, and dread doing it as some students do with tests but enjoy actually the process of creating the videos. I prefer to watch the videos and be able to assess that, which is completely different to having to sit down and mark a big pile of test papers, for example. So, do you think that you've looked at the major taxonomic groups? Yeah. Excellent. And have you got examples of organisms? Yeah. So, what level do you think? Like five. Five at the moment. Brilliant. And where do you think that <coughs> you should be aiming for? Six. Six, maybe pushing yourself towards seven? Uh -huh. Excellent. Good. I wouldn't say that it, it has to necessarily be a very lengthy process in terms of the support that I need to provide for them. I know they do do a little bit of work at home as well on the videos and again that's improving their skills. So in terms of support from myself it's quite minimalistic now. Excellent, so you've started with the vertebrates, yeah? yeah. And you've got, which, which group have you done already? I think that all of the students in my class have really benefited from creating these videos. It makes me feel a little bit more excited about going into a lesson because you never know really what the students are going to produce and it's always something different. OK, last few minutes then. <clears throat> like I say, we're going to watch Emma's video. You don't need to write anything down, but I want you to be thinking and watching. If you were marking it, if you were assessing it, what level would you give it? You could have two students sat next to each other that could look at criteria and express it completely differently. So they may both be working at that level five, for example, but have looked at it at two different angles. So yes, showing those videos, perhaps a student could sit there thinking, oh, I hadn't thought of that way of expressing the different groups, for example, of vertebrates. And that's great because it's increasing their knowledge and the information that they gain as well. So Megan, please. I would give her a 6i or a 7c because it had loads of information and it was really good and it had good pictures. Excellent. And Tom, please. I'd say about 6i or 7c as well because she did put quite a lot of information in but she kind of she didn't really talk about uh, the invertebrates that much which she could have done better. Excellent. Thank you. If they know they can show work that they've produced to a group of students of the same age and not get any negative feedback, you know, actually get constructive feedback, then that's making them feel a lot happier and more content in their environment within the classroom.